Yes, team. That one just finds the line. First point goes the way of the Czechs. Very good fortune for the Canadians to get them on the board. Get the second point for them back in front now after a joust at the net. It's Marquettes look over who gets the better of it. Hey. A little short on that serve though. Let's look over. The back level. Well, Ketis look over the number one for Czech Republic, celebrating her birthday today. Still a long way to go before she can celebrate a birthday win. And it's the Czechs who have the edge after five points. Nine. Plenty of power and authority from Jamie Limbroda that time. Getting Canada level, and they've shown early on that they can be a match for the tournament fifth seeds. We've seen it a number of times at this venue, though, that the higher ranked, stronger of the two sides starts to pull away around the midway point of the first set. Let's see if that happens here. They've exchanged points for the most part, as we have the first change of course, with Czech Republic leading four to three. And the two Czechs have been teaming together since 2006, playing in 56 World Tour events as a team. Two golds and a bronze. All of those coming last season. They're an improving team. Golds in Prague and Berlin, and a bronze in Gestadt, Switzerland. Certainly got their work cut out for them here, it seems. The Canadians Broder and Valyas have come to play. Yeah. At the moment, the Czech team are just about keeping them at bay. They're changing back and forth with the scoring. Canada can't establish a lead, though. So well, not just to keep that alive, but then to win the point. Christina Collett's over with the finish. Both of the Canadian pair retreated here, and she went near, dropped it over the net for the point. And the Czech Republic have a two point advantage. In that one from Broder, off the fingertips of her opposite number, Slakova. And out of bounds for a Canadian point. Just when it seemed like the Czech Republic were trying to build a bit of momentum. It's a one point set again.
way they wanted to follow that up. Now the opportunity for the first three-point lead of the contest with Marquette Slakova on serve. Good job at the moment to keep him this close. Come on. No. Right down the center from Collett's over. Defence almost moved out of the way of this one. They were both down the centre and somehow beat them. Defence on a couple of occasions by Collett's over, but excellent work at the net by Christina Valyas and got the block to land down right on the line after the Czechs had kept it alive on a couple of occasions. Just found the line there. And that one lands in as well for the ace. A bit of miscommunication, a bit of misjudgment from Collett's over and Slakova. Canada have been able to get level. And they just refused to allow the Czech Republic to get away. Right down the line and into the corner. Christina Valyas, so Canada with three straight points and take the lead, having been two down. Drilled it right down the line. You get the feeling this is a matchup that could go all the way. right over the top of the net, very well done. She rose so high to prod it over the fingertips of Jamie Limbroda. She's a big, tall, long player, Marquette look over at 5 foot 11, 180 centimetres. to handle that time for Collett's over. <laughs> Off the fingertips of Christina Valias. And Canada haven't gone on a bit of a run to get in front. They've now been pegged back by Collett's over and Slakova. They win back-to-back -back points heading into the technical timeout with an 11 to 10 lead. But this is a first set that looks as though it could go the distance. It's been back and forth the whole way. The two sides only separated by two points at any one time. No doubt Canada's wild card selection of Broder 
And Volyas looked to be capable of providing a threat to the fifth seeded Czech team of Kolotsova and Slakova. Been a really good effort from those two so far. And you see there Canada winning four of the last six points, those three in a row, which got them back from two down to one ahead. And you can get in touch with us joining the conversation using the hashtag FIVB World Champs here at the Beach Volleyball World Championships in the Netherlands. It's a World Championships of firsts with the event hosted by four different cities. Rotterdam hosting the Pools D, E and L in the men's and women's competition. And the other pools being conducted in Amsterdam and Appledorm and The Hague, where the semi-finals and the final will be held for both of these competitions. And the four different venues hosting all the way to the quarter-finals. <laughs> Lovely touch that. Christina Valyas had to stretch really far to get there and level things up for Canada. Kolotsova and Slakova are being given already much more of a test than they had in their opener on this court yesterday. And they've retaken the lead, 12 to 11, but this Canadian team has already outscored the tally that Morocco's Ikram and Mahassan got in the whole match yesterday. Kolotsova and Slakova winning 21-8, 21-2. They've got a test today, no doubt about that. That serve is out, so we're level again. And that one right back into the corner, measured to perfection by Colin Sova. Over the top of the blocker. Well, the touch from Slakova Collets over was scrambling to try and get there, but couldn't. And this back and forth pattern to this first set continues. Canada level things up at 13. The check's really being made to work. Yeah. An error on the serve from Canada. And the checks the lead again. They have led for the most part in this first set. Just the, the occasional Canadian lead, but Broder and Valyas have kept it to within one and two points at all times. And they've kept it level again. Both teams struggling to put together back-to-back -back points right now as we have a change of ends again. They look very evenly matched, these two. And you can see that Broder and Valyas, the Canadians, have been improving. And with those uh, medals earlier on in the campaign, they're very much an up-and-coming team. And they have themselves a lead right now, a rare lead for the uh, fingertip fraud of Kolotsova. They've been teaming together since 2011. This is their 42nd FIVB World Tour event as a team. They hadn't won a medal before this season, though. And they started this campaign with gold in China and bronze in Switzerland. And they're showing what they're capable of again here. And projectable level again. Drop shot that time. The Canadian defence had retreated deep. No one, 
too hot to handle for Christina Konnetsova. Canada back in front again. We're getting towards the stage now where each and every point is ever so important. Almost on the final stretch of this first set, it has remained close throughout. And it gets even closer. The problem on the surf for Canada again. This is about as close a set as we've witnessed here in Rotterdam on this court throughout the two days of action. serve was long from the Czechs as well, so Canada have their third lead in quick succession. And perhaps that nervousness and tension as we get towards the end of the first set starting to creep into the games of these two teams. Oh, huge presence at the net from Valias and Canada have their first two-point advantage. Really big point in the scope of this game now, and Collins over and Slakova forced really to call timeout down 18 to 16. And Canada getting that two point lead at the perfect time with just three points more needed to take the first set. It's Broder and Valyas who lead 18 to 16. Collins over and Slakova have some sorting out to do now. The fifth seed in the whole competition for the women's division are struggling in the first set here. And they would have been hoping for the win that would carry them through to the next round, but it's not looking that way at the moment. You can see Canada scoring four of the last six points and coming from behind to earn themselves a two-point advantage. And they've done it at the most opportune moment right towards the end of the set. Can they keep that advantage going? Or can Kolotsova and Slakova reel them back in? And the SS Rotterdam there in the background providing the perfect backdrop for this wonderful setting. The sun is starting to shine through a little more now. Presence at the net again of Valyas, not once but twice. And Canada have the largest lead of the set. And there are real problems now for Kolotsova and Slakova. The Canadians needing just two more points. And really coming up big down the stretch in this set, Christina Valyas at the net. This is a huge point. much power on the drive down by Christina Collins over when the Czechs really needed something. And that was the difference between getting within two and conceding four set points. And they could really do with another one. And they get it off the ace as well. And you can see what it means to Christina Kolotsova, who punched the Rotterdam air. And a puff of the cheeks, too. She knows how big a point that was. Plays the serve perfectly. And a timeout called. This time by Broder and Valyas. They look to be within touching distance of the first set, up 19 to 16. But back to back points now for Kolotsova and Slakova. They've made the situation a little more precarious. It's a thoroughly entertaining first set for those fans here to enjoy and for you to enjoy at home. Join the conversation using that hashtag FIBB World Champs here at the Beach Volleyball World Championships in the Netherlands. This is no doubt one of the most entertaining sets we've seen on this court in either the women's or the men's competition. What kind of finish are we going to have? Can Canada's wild card selection cause an upset? They still have the lead, but they've conceded the last two points. 
Can the checks get level, or will it be two set points for Canada? Well, there's your answer in emphatic fashion. Christina Valyas, who seems to be getting better and better in this contest, with a huge thunderous finish, unstoppable, and it is two set points for Canada. Valyas on serve. Down the line, but out. And the point goes Canada's way. And the 29th seed in this competition have picked up a set here against the tournament fifth seeds. What an upset this could be. They're halfway there. Broder and Valyas taking the first set, 21 to 18. Disappointment for the Czechs. Set goes to Broder and Valyas. And they win it 21 to 18. This is how they've done it. A few more on serve and a few more attacks for Kolotsova and Slokova, but an extra error as well. And they've really shown Broder and Valyas that they can be more than a match for a team that have aspirations of reaching the final four at least. And this is a pair from the Czech Republic playing in their third senior world championships together. They reached the round of 32 on both previous attempts in Poland in 2013 and in Rome in 2011. And they managed a fifth place finish at the London Olympics in 2012. Hey! And Canada form continues. They are showing that they are not phased by what's in front of them. Jamie Lynn Broder this time with a big spike. Yeah. And they get the first two points of the second set as well. Difficult times this for the Czech duo. To trying to get to that one, Christina Valias, but nothing she could do really. Really hard earned point for Colin Sober and Slakova. Jamie Limbroda did her best to try and get there, but could only turn it back the other side of the net. And uh, although you are allowed to go onto your opponent's court to retrieve it, there was no way that Valias was going to get there under the net. Valyas, so back-to-back -back checkpoints. And it looked like a really difficult start to the second set for them, a second set that they have to win, of course, now, in terms of this match here. Hey! Won't be helped by that misplaced serve from Marketa Slakova. He's having a rather tough workout on her birthday. Blocked 
from Valles at the net. Canada have their two-point advantage back. Let's see if they can build on it this time. They took the first two points in this set. The Czechs answer back with two of their own, but it's back-to-back -back Canadian points again. And they do add another one. The ace off the serve. So much disappointment right now for the Czechs. And uh, they need to do something about it. Down 5-2 to two in a set that they have to win. Really struggling. Big problem for Christina Kulitz over there. And uh, having lost the first set 21-18, to 18, they're trailing 5-2. to two in the second, they really need to get themselves together here. They would have been hoping to secure their place in the next round today. And if Broder and Valyas could get the victory, it would really throw Pooley into turmoil all over the place, and anybody could really go through. So on the final day of uh, pool matches, You're not too familiar with the competition. 12 pools in both the men's and women's competitions. Four teams in each pool. The top two teams from each will go through to the round of 32 along with the eight best third place teams. long and Canada stretch their lead to four it's a really tough start really frustrating start you can see for Colin Sobert Slakova they've taken just two of the first eight points of the second set having lost the first in disappointing fashion and there's Valyas at the net again She's just got better and better. And the block landing the right side of the line as far as she's concerned. The lead has grown to five. Actually just caught her opponent on the way. Well angled that time by Slakova. At a time when you felt that the Czechs really needed a score. How can they build on that? That's the question. Christina Collins over on the serve. Well, the answer to that question is emphatically no, delivered by Jamie Lynn Broder, who re-establishes the five-point Canadian advantage. Looking confident, they're looking comfortable, they're looking like they belong here. And just look at that run. and that closes the gap to three and that gives them a bit of belief now. Valyas making the mistake to leave it. There's a response. The Czech's able to keep it alive though. Second time too, but it will bounce out. And Valyas makes amends for that mistake, leaving the serve on the previous point with two thunderous spikes. The first one stopped, only just. That one's 
was just fine the line, it was very close. We'll see it again here, it might be difficult to tell how close from this angle. Right between the two. You can see what every point means now to Kolotsova and Slakova. And they can't save that one. Christina Valias is uh, looking like the MVP on court right now. And all the effort in the world from Marqueta Slakova, but out of her reach. Valias beat him that time. A delicate, soft touch of Collinsover. Able to navigate her way around that wall. Look over. Back to back checkpoints to half the deficit to two. Oh, I have a timeout as well. With the Czech fifth seeded side in the competition starting to reel the Canadians back in. Broder and Valias taking the first set 21 18, had a 10 to 6 lead in the second. But Collett's over and Slakova have won back to back points. There's the run, taking those uh, last couple. The fans very much enjoying themselves here in Rotterdam, this beautiful city, one of the four host cities for the FIVB Beach Volleyball World Championships, a city that featured in the top ten of last year's New York Times Places to Go list, some spectacular modern architecture and a spectacular setting for this group here with the SS Rotterdam in the background. The retired cruise ship that now houses these players and FIVB officials as the hotel for this event. Checkpoint. The Canadian timeout did little to slow the momentum of their opponents. Three in a row. From four down, they're within one. And it's game on again in this second set. Now can they get level? Top of the net between the two and out of the reach of the five foot seven, 170 centimeters Christina Collins over her smallest player on court. Back to back Canadian points now. So after three in a row for the Czech Republic to get back from four down to within one. It's back-to-back -back points for the Canadians to take them into the technical timeout with a three-point advantage, just when it looked like Czech Republic. We're going to get back level and perhaps take this set into their own hands. It's Broder and Valias who create a bit of breathing room again. 12-9 having taken the first 21-18. They are nine points away from what would be a shock win here in Pool E of the FIVB Beach Volleyball World Championships. They've got to find a way to come back again now. They've shown they can go on a run. 
to try and reproduce that. Things will get a little more tense, a little more nervy as we start to reach the latter stages of this second set. Kolotsova and Slokova are yet to reach a quarter-final this season, despite a couple of golds and a bronze last season. They've had ninth-place finishes on home soil in the Czech Republic, as well as in Moscow and Norway. Yes! Most recently, 17th at the Grand Slam in St. Petersburg in the United States. Yeah. Not the best run to come into this tournament. And that's an important point for them here. They did get off to a winning start. The straight sets win over Morocco's Ikram and Mahasin yesterday. It was hardly uh, a real test of their standing in this tournament as the fifth seeds, 21-8, 21-2. They're certainly being given a test here by Broder and Valyas today. Superb defence from the Czechs. And a round of applause for Marquette to over for a teammate, Christina Collins over. Twice when it seemed impossible to reach it, she got there. from Broder. Canada back up by two. Slakova was getting across to that side of the court, didn't quite cover the gap. So getting closer. Feeling they have a bit of belief about them now. They were down by five at one stage in this set, really struggling. You can see the scoring run from the Czechs there. There's another one for them, so they're back level. A really tough start to this second set. They are fighting their way back into this match now. 13-13. And another one too. Slakova towering over the net to get the Czechs in front. They've been down by as many as five, but they lead here in a second set that they have to win. Nobody! Ah, oh, Slakova with the defense and the offense. Stopped the powerful drive from the Canadians and picked herself back up to deliver a precision blow that gives the Czechs a two-point advantage and really putting it together now. Almost looked at the start of this set as if they were going to be down and out, but they picked themselves back up from the sand, dusted themselves off, and they've put themselves in a great position to try and force a decider. sure that they keep it close. Broder trotting down the line. It was a close first set, 21-18. And it looks as though it's going to be a close finish to the second as well. Broder and Valjas going close in both of their sets against Poland yesterday, 21-18, 21-18. Just lands in from Slakova, who beat Valyas to the net. Valyas was racing to get there, almost left the back of the 
court exposed. Slakova found the gap. I like oh, Rhoda answers back. Another one of those prods down the line. She's done that a couple of times recently. Slakova was heading the opposite direction with the block. Again, we are in a position of just a one-point game. Canada trying to get level. And they do. The Czech team making a bit of a mistake receiving the serve. It put them on the back foot. And Valias took full advantage. 16-16, a reminder that it's first to 21. Checks edge ahead again, four points away from taking this to a 15, first to 15 point decider. The significance here really is Broder and Valyas trying to stay in with a chance of finishing in the top two and making the round of 32 in Pool E. And a defeat would make it difficult to progress. Valyas with the precision touch. And Canada get level again. There is little to no room for error now from both teams. And there is an error, a big one from Christina Valias. And the tension heightening. She plants the serve into the net, and uh, the Czech duo have a lead and have the serve back as they change ends. Three points away, forcing that third set. And there's an error right back from the Czechs. Christina Collett's over finding the net. Difficult for her to get the trajectory needed at five foot seven, 170 centimetres tall on those serves, and she finds the net, we're back level. Well placed, they knew it. As soon as the ball went over the net, it was gonna be a checkpoint, Marquetta Slakova, with a really important one for them, over the top of Valyas, right back into the corner. They lead 19 to 18, two points away. Into the net from Kolotsova. Slakova disappointed, it was a good set for Kolotsova, but she didn't make the most of it. Level at 19 again, that the difference between a tie game and two set points for the Czech Republic. Now this one is really crucial. This. This. It's wide of the line. The official though has overruled the line judge and it's the Czechs who get the point. Controversial and dramatic conclusion for this second set. Understandably, Canada won't be happy. Let's see if we can get a better idea here. Well, the line judge said no. The first official said yes. And the set point goes to the Czech Republic. Canada felt it should have gone to them. And they're still not happy about it. They're going to have to regroup. They're going to have to gather themselves quickly. Christina Collett's over to serve to try and force a decider. Valyas, and it got a touch off Collett's over. So Canada 
save the set and get level and still have a chance of taking it in safe straight sets here. Was it going out? That's the big question. Quite possibly. Well, it's over. Felt she had to try and get something to it. It's win by two clear points now. Broder with a superb save. And then the follow-up too. And Canada now have not just the set point, but the match point. They found they should have had one earlier. They've got the opportunity to finish off Kolotsova and Slikova now. <laughs> Big moment this for Kolotsova and Slikova. And they take full advantage of it. And they rise to the challenge laid down by Broder and Valias to level it up again. And once again, we're back to a position of two clear points. Kolotsova has made a couple of errors down the stretch in that second set, making amends there with the spike that clips the top of the net. And the serve goes to her partner, Marketa Slakova. Oh, Valias rose with power, but Slakova rose with purpose and put her body in the right place. And the Czechs have their second set point to try and force the decider. Excellent block from Marketa Slakova, still hoping for a happy birthday celebration. Drona with so much power. Saves the set point. And Canada take the serve back. Too hot to handle for Kolotsova. She did well to navigate it away from Slakova in the net as well. Well, that one just hit the line, right on the line. And now the Czechs hoping to make it third time lucky, their third set point. Right down the heart of the defence, that one. <laughs> Valias rises to deliver a thunderous blow that Kolotsova can do nothing about. And the Czechs have had three set points but failed to take any of them. And this is a second set that has more than gone the distance now. First to 25 it becomes. They will have yet another opportunity to take this one to a third set. Two teams trading points right now. If the Czechs can put together back-to-back -to -back points, they will take the set. Broda right down the line. The Czechs can't put together back-to-back -to -back points over the top of Slakova. just inside, almost touching the line. Well, neither team can win a point on their serve at the moment. Well, let's see if Canada can do it here with Valias. Well, the decision is checkpoint. The line judge didn't seem to be too sure. Canada think it should have gone their way. And they're left disappointed. Not for the first time we've had that incident. We had it right at the end of uh, the 21 points. And the set point goes to the Czech Republic yet again. Controversial finish to this second set continues. I line, I line. 
Broder answers back, just as they have done time and time again now. A team coming into this competition as a wild card selection, as a 29th seed, and they are trading blows with the fifth seeds and look full of confidence. That pattern of points, back and forth continues, and the Czechs have yet another set point. They need to put together back-to-back -to -back points here, though. They need to be able to win a point on their serve to take this to a decider. That one just out of the reach of Christina Valias. Can they finally get the job done? No. Here's the rather short and succinct answer. There's Makutis Lakova. Plants the serve into the net. We are level at 26 in this marathon second set. Broder and Valyas hoping to blow the group wide open with a win. How important could that save be from Broder? Well, it's in from Kolitsova, so... They get there in the end and force yet another set point in quite remarkable circumstances. Broder did ever so well to keep it alive there. But Collett's over. Gave Valias little to no chance. Cross, cross. Yeah. Broder able to save another set point. It is quite remarkable how this second set is panning out. Now can Canada put back-to-back -back points together to get another match point? They've only had one. Well, no, they can't. It's going to be another set point for the Czech Republic. A slight touch from Slakova, enough to carry it over. So difficult in these tense conditions to provide that kind of slender touch. Oh, Valjas getting the job done. After it looked as though the block from the Czechs was going to be enough, but Canada kept the point alive, and it is 28-28 in a quite sensational second set. Kolotsova and Slakova still left hoping that they can secure their place in the round of 32 here. You see the run of points there, the top of the screen, back and forth, one after the other. We haven't had back-to-back -back points in a long, long time. <laughs> well, we have now, though, back-to-back -back Canadian points and their second match point. After a bucket load of set points for the Czech Republic, will they be made to regret not taking any of them? Well, the serve from Valias wide and off the mark. They can't make it three points in a row, and we're back level again. We're going to have to surpass the 30-point mark to get the set over here. No one, no one. So much power from Broder. Excellent defensive work from Kolitsova. Then from Broder too, but not enough on the stretch. And the Czechs will have yet another set point. Just got it down. Collett's over did ever so well to do so with her lack of height. There's the big block that gives the set to Marquetta Slakova and Christina Collett's over. A humongous set, 
And the Czechs still have the possibility of reaching the round of 32 with a victory here today. They would have to do it in the third set. They had a whole heap of set points to try and get the job done in the second. And look what it means to Christina Kolitsova. Disappointment for Broda and Valjas, but Christina Kolitsova and Marketa Slikova who came up with the big block, getting the second set won 31 to 29 to cancel out the 21-18 first set win of Broda and Valjas. And we will go to a third and decisive set in this all-important Pooley match here at the FIVB Beach Volleyball World Championships. A third set that we played to 15 points, so only half the length of the last set. So all the matches that we've covered on this uh, court in Rotterdam have been decided in straight sets, not this one. A set two statistics with some huge numbers there after it was 31-29 to Kolotsova and Slakova. just found the line, so Canada land the first blow of the decisive set. to right back with a lovely touch from Marketa Slakova. Didn't she do this well? Beyond the reach of Christina Valyas diving backwards. to her reach too, so back-to-back -back checkpoints. And they take their first lead of the decider. The tension, the pressure starts to ease on them now. Yay! That won't do an awful lot to help. The point gifted to the Canadians, back level. They will feel that they've been in a position to win this match. Broda and Valyas, it might make it more difficult for them here in the third set. It's Kolotsova and Slakova who have the momentum. And they have the lead back again. The change events coming after five points in this first to 15 decider. of power from Broder. Too difficult for Slakova to deal with. Canada get back level. It's a long match now for these two after that really long second set, then having to play the third. We're around about the hour mark in this one. Come on. Yeah. Delicately done by Kolotsova. Re-establishing the Czech lead. They can't build on that. They serve off the mark, Canada level again. And so many points during this match, we've had the two teams just trading blows, one point after the other, of course, right to the end of that second set. The 21-point mark onwards, just about. 
And we had it right at the start of the match, the first half of the first set as well. Best. You're seeing it again here in the decider. Point by point, one way then the other way. The Czechs have the lead again, five to four. Kolotsova rising and powering it down. And can they string together back-to-back -to -back points? Well, they can. Disappointment next on the face of Christina Valyas. She felt she should have done better with that one. Jamie Lindroda, her partner, had actually just anticipated that it was going to go over, wasn't even thinking about the ball coming off the net there. Kobe, you felt it was going to have to take something special to break that rally. Both sides looking very evenly matched, very nimble getting around the court. And it took a shot to the back court, measured to perfection, right onto the line. Between the two, just inside. The serve is long. Canada offered a route back into this decider after the Czechs have been building up steam. No it with a big finish. Back to back Canadian points and making it close again. Nobody on that side of the court. They both moved across. Slakova, the deeper of the two. Defenders have come to the middle. The Czechs have got halfway across this decisive set with a two point advantage. benefit on that one and a slice of good fortune that gets them within one and as they change ends again right down onto the top of the net almost a little embarrassed to celebrate it but at this stage you have to celebrate every piece of luck and good fortune you can get Trying to save it. Had to really go through the gears just to get there and then couldn't direct it back to Valyas. And the Czechs have a two point advantage. They fire that one straight into the net, so Canada back within one again. They can make the most of their serve this time. They can get level and start to apply that pressure onto Kolotsova and Slakova again. Yeah! Big block from Valyas. Putting up a Canadian wall at the net and getting them level at nine. They lost their match in straight sets yesterday to Poland, but they have kept every set they've had in this competition close. 21-18, 21-18 yesterday. They won the first 21-18 here today. And 
It took 31 points from Collett's over and Slokova to win them the second set. And they have the lead again in this one now, 10 to 9. Broder trying to get out of the way of it, but it bounced in. That one to level us up again. It could be another one of those sets again between these two. It is 10 10 the score. And Canada have served back. First to 15, just a reminder in this third and decisive set. These two level at one. And level at 10 in the set. Oh, Val Yas was well positioned, but she put an awful lot in earlier in the rally and just ran out of steam. And she tried for the big spike, could only find the top of the net. It's the Czechs who get the break. It has been a long match, not that long. And that one's just out. Back to back checkpoints to get them within three, 12 to 10. This one now is a huge point. And at the right time, the timeout has been called because Broder and Valyas can't afford to see Collets over and Slikova pick up the new the next point because to be three behind with only two to go, they would put themselves in a huge hole. They put so much into this if they were to end it with a defeat and go down 0 2 in the competition. After taking all of their sets so close, it would be a significant disappointment. You can see the score in there, a couple of back-to-back -back points for each team. For the most part, it has been toe-to-toe, -to -toe, nose to nose, point by point. One of those matches you could say that neither side really deserves to lose, but one of them has to. Czech fans in the crowd will be fairly happy at the moment, but fairly nervous at the same time. Huge point. Canada that take it, pull it over, wide of the target. So the Canadians back within one. They did begin this season with great promise. They didn't disappoint from the start. The gold in China in the first event of the campaign for Broder and Valyas. That was their first medal. It was quickly followed by a silver in Switzerland. A wild card entry here for Canada, but no one down. certainly capable of going further in the competition. Nobody's lying. They've got back level here in the third set. Back to back points. It's a third set that's going to go all the way, as the first two did. The second one went all the way, and then some. They haven't hit those heights since, Broder and Valyas, but they did secure a final four finish in Croatia earlier this month. They're trying to get back to their best form again here. Come on! They trail. 13 to 12 now. Every point at this stage is huge. And it's Marketa Slakova, the birthday girl, who comes up big on that one.
Back to back, 10 points. Christina Collett's over, lets out a huge cry. They have two match points. Having given absolutely everything to fight through that second set. They were pushed to the brink. Now they are on the brink of a place in the round of 32. And they get the win. A three-set thriller. And it's the Czechs who come out on top. Disappointment for the Canadians who have lost both of their matches now at the World Championships, having taken all five of their sets close. But it's the Czechs who do the business here, winning back-to-back -back sets after a 31-29 monstrous second set. They win 15-12 in the decider and celebrate back-to-back -back wins to start the World Championships and now within touching distance of the round of 32. A 42 to 10 victory yesterday over Morocco. This one was a little more difficult. They had to score 31 points in the second set alone to force that decider. And then they rose to the challenge in the third. So what a thoroughly entertaining contest. It's the Czechs who take it in the end, having lost the first set 21-18. They win 31-29 in the second, and then 15-12 in the decider in a match that lasted over an hour. And we can get some reaction from the winning team, Kristina Kolotsova and Marketa Slakova. So, Kiki, this was one tough match. It was pretty long, right? Crazy, yeah. It was... Like we were, we lost the first game and we were pretty much uh, down already in the second. So we tried to came, come back. There was some great uh, points of Maki, so she brought us back totally. And then we were trying to keep it up. And yeah, the end. I don't know how it ended up, even 31 or something. It was really okay. That's Congratulations! Thank you, thank you, thank you. That's really the first day after the game. Well, all right, this is the best present, and uh, it's really intensive. I really appreciate it. It's very lovely. It made me really happy. Thank you. Well, there were certainly no birthday presents from Broder and Valyas of Canada who made Kolotsova and Slakova work ever so hard. Slakova, in the end, able to celebrate a win on her 27th birthday. And it's a win that puts them so close to the round of 32. Their place in the next round would be guaranteed if, as expected, Poland defeat Morocco in this group later this evening. That would be another birthday present for her. But it's the Czechs who win this one in three sets.